one, two, three. All right, good evening. It is a pleasure to be in this evening. And you're aware where the Lord is, that's where I want to be. And it's so great to be in His presence. You know, you know one, one important thing is, it doesn't matter where we are, where He is, it's holy. So this place is consecrated to Him. Uh, my name is James. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I do evangelism work. I'm, I was with Dr. Miles Monroe for 20 years. I don't know if you ever heard about him. Yes, sir. And, uh, I traveled with him and ministered with him for many years. Until I met my wife here in Dallas and then I moved to Dallas from the Bahamas. And here I am, the rest is history. And I met Anthony at my church where we all, where we all go together. I'm also a preacher. I've been to the Word, and uh, I've been to music, that's my life. I enjoy doing things for the Lord, because only what you do for Him is going to last. Everything else is going to, is going to last away. You know, it is our job to, to let His light shine through us in our lifestyle so that the world can see Jesus in us. Because we're the only Jesus the world is going to see. And if we don't let our eyes shine, it won't shine. You know. Uh, I want to say something that is, it's, it's, it is so important that I was dealing with the other day. And, uh, you know, we look at the world today, we look at the situation in the world going on in the world today. And we try to wonder what is going on. But I can tell you something. The believer, the true believer, don't have to worry. Right. Yeah. That is so right. Don't have to worry. You know, let the world worry. Because one thing David have told us, he said, they've never seen the righteous forsaken, or they see begging bread. We need to continue to walk in faith, not in doubt. And don't look out of our eyes and see the situation and say, oh, that's the way things are. No, no, no. We should look through the eyes of faith. Who is the believer? And that's where we're going to be. God. God is a faith God. Anything else don't move him. Wherever he sees faith, he moves. You know. And I, I want to say something because, it's, you know, this is so important for us believers. It took me years in order to, to, to begin to understand this. Most of us right now, you'll ask a question to the world, say, for all the believers in Christ, and you ask them, what and who is your biggest problem? And us walking direct with God. And you know what they will tell you? The devil. <laughs> the devil is not your biggest problem. No way in scriptures God said the devil is your biggest problem. Our biggest problem is one inch below your nose. <laughs> one inch below your nose to see what you have there. Why you say, well, why is that so? Because the Bible says, out of your mouth comes to what? The issues of life. The issues of life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Am I all right? Yeah. Yes. Or whatever goes into the heart, do what? Mm. Comes out through the mouth. Jesus said, never what goes into a man that defiles him. It's what comes out of him that defiles him. You know, if we can get the world and get the church to understand how important it is to speak positiveness, no matter in the face of all adversity, we will change this world. We all look at the word, word repentance. What do repentance mean? Turn around. 